Okay, Roger, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Hey guys, uh, and welcome to my first reaction in the final season of his Dark Materials. I'm going to do a couple little logistics things. I did make a community post talking about this, but I just wanted to say I am very aware that the US schedule and the UK schedule are vastly different of when um, it's releasing. I think the UK isn't getting it until the 18th, which is crazy to me, but um, so I'm going to be uploading these once a week. That was always kind of my idea. I realize that the US is getting um, two every week. I'm not uploading two every week, mainly um, because of the fact that it's kind of running into holiday season. I'm going to be traveling for a bit and I just will not have the time to actually uh, keep up the schedule of uploading two a week. Okay, I just wanted to say that. So it's going to be once a week uh, from here on out and hopefully that works for everybody. But if for whatever reason um, you can't watch it right away because of the weird release schedules. Just try to avoid. Um, I'm going to do my best to make sure that the thumbs, um, thumbnails of the videos are very, like, generic and not anything too spoilery or anything like that. Um, I try to do that anyway, but I'll be extra careful with that uh, until the people in the UK or maybe other parts of the world can catch up. Okay, I just wanted to say that. Uh, the other things that I wanted to say in case you're new here. One, I do not read the source material, so I am going in kind of completely blind. I don't really know uh, what's going to be going on. Um, I also don't watch trailers to things because um, depending on the production company or the show or whatever, trailers can be super spoilery and I would just rather react to everything in my reactions. Um, okay, I'm ready. I am ready. I am ready for Roger. Is the third book called Roger's Revenge? I mean, listen, after that post credit scene, you know I'm ready. He's probably not going to even be in the first episode, but that, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You guys know how I feel about Roger and I love him. Anyway, um, yeah, you know what? Uh, I have bad luck with characters uh, on this show. You know, I had a favorite in season one. Those of you who have been watching my reactions, you all know this. I had a favorite in season one. Didn't make it by the end of the season. And then I said, you know who my second favorite is? And then didn't make it in the, in the second season. You know, um, I do have a third favorite. I'm not going to tell you who it is. I'm not going to tell you who it is because they're probably, if I speak it out into the universe, they're probably going to die. Okay? So maybe some of you already know. But I just, I'm, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I am so excited to get into this final season. I kind of want to sort of see what answers come up and... I mean, just the plot of this show, the acting in this show, just everything is just so wonderful. And I just can't wait um, to get into it. So without further ado, let's just go. For many millennia, the authority has ruled in the kingdom of heaven. He is none of those but just an angel like ourselves. Since then, we have lived between the worlds, watching and waiting oh. for vengeance. A spark of hope is alive. Well, it's going to be somebody's died. revenge. A serpent has been summoned. A new eve emerges. The time for a new rebellion is coming. Wow. Did she say a serpent has been summoned? Is that what she said? No, no, no. Oh, she's stuffed in a box somewhere. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, you're not in a box somewhere. Oh, and this is probably a dream. Yeah, let's go. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ew, 
don't wake her up. She was going to find Roger. To possibly dream Roger, but I'll take what I can get. Whoa. No, 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 no. Listen, I, I do not trust this woman with kids of any kind. Don't do 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 what do what. What are you gonna do? Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, listen, that could have been a lot worse. Let us go. Oh. Stop drugging your daughter. God. Don't be afraid. Oh. Angels, in your language, we come to you in human form. Follow my lead. Hey. Hey. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. You secure? All clear. Wow. I did see his name in the intro. I am. Love him. I intend to march upon the kingdom of heaven, and I should very much like you to join me. Oh. I want your army, but I need your leadership. Come with me. You can come with me. Oh, okay. That sounds kind of like a maybe. <laughs> oh, so lovely seeing you again. If you were in my position, what would you do? Physical attendant in public. I can't go with you. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm looking for my friend Lyra. Not that he cares, but she's lost. She needs my help. Barbara's the most important thing to me right now. I'm going to find her. Help me find her. If you can find me, you can find Lyra. I, there we go. And then... Take me to her. Then... There we go. I'll come with you to Lyra! <gasps> Wait, I'm coming! Roger! Is this a dream or is it something? What the hell? Oh my god. I don't I don't know. I don't know. Is it like a afterlife kind of play? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Roger. Roger. Roger! Follow! <laughs> Trying to decide if you're a madman. Well. You're a genius. Maybe both. Temple has been targeting our children for a while now. I've seen this before. A demon has been set. She up. is not demonic. I was gonna say, it seems like the same thing. Mr. Maria and I are one. She is my demon. They are taking our souls in a good way. And with them, our humanity. Drones. Oh shit. I'd like you, Father Gomez, to lead them. Uh-huh. I could perhaps drop in on Frappel. See if I can speed him up a little. Oh Here's... god. I don't want to know what that means. It's not gonna be an actual serpent, right guys? Like, it's like a metaphor. Please let it be a metaphor. We got rid of the Boreal. Who, great character, but Snake. You know, I mean, why is it always snakes? Would you rather I didn't keep her safe? You're keeping her prisoner. Mm-hmm. Oh! Did you find her? What can you tell me about the woman? A demon is a golden monkey. Her mother. Her mother? You're sure this is safe?
as soon as the children are reunited, you will both come to me in Azrael's Republic. Poor Lyra. I mean, yeah, there's a lot going on, but she's either going to be with one shitty parent or another. <laughs> I don't know about you, sir. And perhaps the time has come to re-educate you. No. I don't like this. I don't like this. I mean, I don't really like that guy either, but you know. I don't know. That monkey is always about. See? Oh. Oh, sweetie. I'm not going to make it. Yeah, to try. Well, Will should be coming. I don't know when, though. I don't, I don't know really where they, they popped up. <laughs> I'm aware of you. You never seem to amaze me. Must be strange being here like this with me. Strange is one word. I haven't brought you here to keep you jailed. I will never be safe with you. This is but one world among many, in every single one of them, the same thing, children, mutilated. It's a lot to take in. So let me show you. Oh boy, yeah, I had a feeling that was coming. Show me. <laughs> oh my god. Will Don't hurt him. Will Give me a piece. Anything you want. We'll be better matched then, won't we? Free that bear now. Oh, well. Can he have led with, like, I know Lyra? You're looking for Lyra. She's oh. not her mother. Being held against her will. Then we must go to her. Yes. Yes, I love this. He has since divined that the child is with her mother. The mother. And bring them directly to me. Marisa Coulter is evil. She is persuasive. Do not trust her. Death is real. I've seen it. Death is going to die. I believe I've heard enough. Three, two... One. Welcome to the Republic of Heaven, Commander. I'd gather my people if I were you. Well, what a first episode to uh, the new season. The final season. Oh my goodness. Um... I'm, I'm always a kind of in awe of this show and how it's really stunning visually, but I feel like the acting, just everything is so well done. Um, I do like, okay, this is a, this is a weird thing to say. We're going to talk about Azrael for a second. Okay. I do like that we're seeing a little bit more of Azrael. I believe... What happened, if I'm remembering correctly, in the last season, it was something like he had an episode that was kind of really dedicated to his fight and him gearing up and everything, but they didn't, it, like, COVID restriction, or was it that? It was something like, I forget what it was. Um, but there were, there were things that sort of 
made it um, not possible for him to really film or whatever, so he really wasn't in the second season. Um, and I think that kind of lends a little bit, honestly, to his sort of almost um, kind of mysterious quest that we are now finally sort of getting answers to. Obviously, we, we got a little bit. It wasn't he wasn't completely not in the last season. We got that kind of final-ish scene um, and everything where the, the, the angels were like, we're with you and and all of that. But I like that we're kind of laying the groundwork and laying um, all of that out there. Here's the thing about Asriel. One, I love James McAvoy, so, I mean, I, I think he's going to do such a great job in this. Um, and I am very, very aware that, you know, it's kind of his mission that is putting all of this into motion. I totally find it really fascinating um, to see him at work, to see him do what he needs to do to try to recruit for his cause and that he knows this is this is the biggest fight that that you know possibly to ever exist and he um is i i do like the the preparing with having like recruiting a lot of people for this fight and that we can see there are um, different versions of, you know, um, the, <clears throat> the, the people who are fighting on behalf of the authority or um, ruling on behalf of the authority and, and what they are doing, um, even though there are similarities. I actually really loved um, uh, where he's, he's trying to recruit this guy um, and we see the similar things that happened with this guy's daughter um, that we've seen before in the show. And I just truly, um, I don't know, I, I, I like that through that this hit, this kind of recruitment that he's trying to do, where you're also sort of, it, it's just getting kind of laid out a little bit. The last little thing that he said is that we're, uh, you know, um, well, I'm paraphrasing, but like we're, we're going to do away with death, which makes, you know, the, the Republic of Heaven, okay? Um, you know, I'm sure all of that will get explained a little bit more, just uh, as I said in the intro, I, I, have, I have not read the book, so I don't know the logistics of everything probably as well as some of you do, but... Um, I think that that's kind of interesting if, um, you know, when you die, maybe, you know, um, you just change, maybe, and you go somewhere else, which is heaven, is heaven another universe, so to speak. I don't, you know, um, this is just me sort of tr trying to, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, um... And I want to be very clear that I absolutely love James McAvoy, this portrayal of this guy that, you know, all in all, it in a lot has done um, a lot of unlikable things in the name of this war that he finds to be so important that he has to make giant sacrifices sacrificing, um, you know, everything, the relationship with his daughter, you know, and, and I think we could all really, you know, open that book and, you know, analyze how much of it did he really have to do? Did he really have to sacrifice? How much of it didn't he, you know, I mean, that's a whole can of worms and we don't need to get into that just yet. But I mean, you can see that this is, somebody who is very willing to put his own maybe personal relationships endeavor you know all sorts of stuff in the uh, like on on pause or sacrifice them in, in the name of this fight right 
And I do find that very, very fascinating to watch. Okay. All of that being said, I don't have to like him. <laughs> okay, he killed my favorite character. And I don't forget, I don't forget, I don't forget. I think he's still gonna be super fascinating, but I just, I just need, we're, we're, I'm gonna explain that, okay? I don't have to like him. It's very possible in these reactions, you're gonna hear some snide comments from me about the Roger of it all, okay? All right, do you have to, are, we, are we good? We got it, we got it, we're good, we're good, okay. Anyway, um, but still super excited to see James McAvoy really give a great performance to, I think, a very complex character because I, I think he's gonna do a great job with that. Um, and obviously he was kind of not really in the last season. Speaking of amazing acting, um, Ruth Wilson. <laughs> this is so interesting. You know what I find really interesting? And I think we're going to see a bit of that with Asriel um, and, and Marissa um, in this season is I do love in the people, at least from Lyra's world, have their demons to their souls represented. So you can almost, it, it's a very clever way to sort of give an internal dialogue of, you know, how they feel about themselves, how they, you know, it's so interesting watching people sort of associate with their demons. Um, and sometimes the demons are almost like a best friend. I mean, the, the most, I just rewatched the second season over the weekend because I was um, kind of ramping up to this and I just wanted to make sure I didn't, you know, forget anything or whatever. But, um, I mean, still the scene with Lee and Esther, Don, I was sobbing. I mean, I sobbed the first time, sobbed the second time, you know, I'm sobbing, to, to, well, probably the second time would have been editing, so sobbed the third time watching that, you know, I really, um, you know, that that's such a, a strong relationship. They've been through so much together um, that they developed like a, 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 a good relationship, which is more of like a, maybe a self-love, a self-reliance, a, a beautiful thing there. Whereas obviously, you know, Mrs. Coulter, uh, Marissa, we, we've seen her have a very, very volatile relationship with, with the monkey, which, I, you know, I don't appreciate because I love monkeys. But, um, you know, I think that that's really interesting. I would be super interested to see how Azriel kind of sort of deals with, with his demon um, or, or see more of that. I mean, we saw some, you know, in like the first season and stuff, but we see a little bit more just to sort of see how, how guilty does he feel about some of the things that he's done? How does he accept it as a, you know, um, a necessary evil or, you know, I'm, I'm genuinely very curious about kind of exploring that a little bit more. So I hope we see a little bit more of that going forward, but obviously with, um, you know, I, Marissa Coulter, I, uh, it's always this sort of tug and, and, and pull and it, it, it's almost, a lot of it is almost her denying her soul, you know, denying that part of her. Um, you know, she, she, she has stated as, as it being kind of self-control and stuff like that, but I think that there's, there's something very, um, I don't know, I just find it really interesting um, that she's, she, she's a bit, she's got a kind of a different, um, obviously a different relationship with her demon than, than almost anybody else in this show, but um, I think she, I think in her own way, I believe she believes that she's keeping Lyra safe, though I think we can all sort of say that maybe drugging her. You know, I think the way she's looking at it is very practical and logical. She's very aware of what she's done. I think she's very aware that Lyra hates her, doesn't like her, maybe pick what you want. 
And so she knows that if she doesn't drug her, she's not going to have control over her in the sense of she's not going to, in her mind, you know, kind of keep her safe. But what is, what is really safe? You know, I mean, Lyra says, you know, I'm not safe with you. Um, and I mean that again, can of worms. There's a lot in there to unpack. Does she love her daughter? I, I, I believe yes in, in her own way, but I think she's also very aware, as I said, that, that she's done things that are possibly unforgivable. So, you know, what does she do in that moment? She wants, I mean, I think her number one priority is to try to keep Lyra safe, but Lyra doesn't want anything to do with her. And the thing is, is that, you know, um, there is a there is a point to be made of like well me, you maybe you lost the right to keep her safe to be the one to keep her safe you know what i mean so i find that that all very interesting i do hope that here there's two things one it seems like lyra is getting some sort of insight into where roger is and i love that so I, you know i'm not i i don't want lyra to be drugged for too much longer but like maybe if she does happen to find out something about Roger, I'm not mad at it. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, if it is true that whatever Asriel was saying about death or whatever, and I, I'm assuming that that is actually Roger's... I, I, I have no idea. It seems like he doesn't have his demon with him. Does it just... I, I, I don't know. I don't know the logistics. I, don't know, I guess we'll see. But... Um, I'm interested, and if Roger can be kind of a, a part of this season, I will be very, very happy, because as I have talked about at length before, mostly in the first season, I really loved his character because I just thought he was such a, a lovely, pure soul who, um, was there for Lyra when a lot, a lot of people weren't, and... He just had such a great, lovely attitude with her. Um, and I loved their friendship. Then I just, yeah, so I would love to see, I would love to see more. Um, uh, I, really interesting to see kind of the, the physical, but there's a sort of, I don't know how else to say it, but the physical, representations or whatever of the angels with Will. Um, love seeing Yurik again, you know, that's great. And I love that Will kind of knew who it was and, and was able to sort of gain, you know, um, in that moment, figure out a way to actually get Yurik to listen. I loved that. I love Will so much. I think that I really hope that they find Lyra soon. Um, cause I personally feel a lot more comfortable when Lyra's with, if Lyra was with them than with, uh, Mommy Dearest. So, um, I, I hope they find her soon and we'll see how all of that goes. Um, but I, uh, I loved, loved that whole interaction and I love that Will, you know, there's something really interesting about the show. There's a difference in kind of what we'll talk, name it like the Azrael way of thinking or whatever with the, there's something bigger than myself. There's this war bigger than myself. It is still very endearing and very lovely to see Will who, who does, you know, he has a role to play in this big war and he says, but what's most important to me is Lyra. And, you know, as much as, yes, there is a point to be made that there is a, a big war and a big fight coming up and all of that, it's still kind of important, you know, if you don't save the people you care about or anything like that, then, then what on earth are you fighting for? Really, like, it, it personally. So I like that there's a diff, you know, a little, a, you know, um... Uh, kind of a side by side to those two different schools of thought and um, 
I love Will. I think he's he's wonderful. Um, uh, it's this new father. A little, a little nervous. He makes me a little nervous. Makes me a little nervous. Why is it the Magisterium? I mean, <laughs> I mean, they could, whenever they show like a new, they bring up a new face or something, I am just like, man, I don't, I don't know about you either. I mean, I'm, obviously they're not, you know, I don't, we're not supposed to like them, but it's just, it's so like, I just have a bad feeling about this guy. You guys feel the same? I got a bad feeling about this guy. That's all I have to say about that. Um, am I missing anything? I don't... Possibly? I don't know. Um, if I do, I, I apologize. I think I hit most of the notes of what I wanted to talk about. Um, obviously. Um, loved it. I would love to see more Roger. Roger icon. Does that mean that we might see Lee? I don't, don't answer that. Don't answer that. But it, that would, it, it, there is something interesting that if death is not the end or whatever of a character that a lot of people can possibly come back that we have loved and loved and lost in this uh, show. Um, namely Roger and Lee. I'm not going to talk about who my third favorite is. I am not going to say it. I'm not, I'm nope. Because that means, because I have bad luck. I have bad luck and I'm not going to jinx it. Okay? Okay. Anyway, um, I, I loved it. I thought it was great. I, I loved that opening that I felt like kind of laid out some explanations of everything. I thought that was great. And I cannot wait to watch the next one. Um, just a reminder, this is going to be once a week. If you do want to get a reaction one week early, uh, head over to my Patreon. I will be doing early access, if I, I think, about one, one week early. Maybe two weeks if I can get there, but I'll say one week um, right now. Uh, just because this is airing over the holidays and I am doing a bit of traveling, so I don't want to, like promise something but there will definitely be one week early access so if you want to see episode two whenever it's edited that will be up um, on patreon before it's up on YouTube and and so on and so forth um, I hope that you guys are excited for my reactions this season and uh, yeah if you would like to support me on patreon or subscribe I would really appreciate it but if not I'm just happy that you are here thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you next time <laughs>